Hello. Hello. And welcome to this quarterly video of TSP Funds. In the second quarter, market performances was quite mixed across the board as investor sentiment remained divided between economic slowdown concerns and further rate hikes from central banks amid persistent inflation. Developed equities were up 6.8%, largely supported by the spectacular performance of some US mega caps, while Asian markets lost 1.3%, penalized by China's disappointing economic data. Finally, Thai markets fell 5.7%, suffering from current political uncertainty. On currencies, the dollar was volatile over uncertain Fed policy, and finally inched higher over most currencies while Thai political events dragged down the bat. Finally, those cumulative effects led the Thai bat to depreciate 3.5% against the Green Deal. Despite sticky inflation and central bank's aggressive communication, long-term rate volatility fell significantly as we approached the end of the tightening cycle. Overall, global bond and credit market ended the quarter on a stable note. In Thailand, the political context and Bank of Thailand policy led interest rates to continue their rise on all maturities. As a result, government bond index ended on a slight negative note. And in the meantime, local corporates were more resilient, remaining in positive territory. After a positive first quarter, TSP ended on a negative note in Q2, mainly dragged down by the fall of Asian and Thai equities. Nevertheless, it's worth noting that all portfolios continue to display positive performance in 2023. In relative terms, portfolio ended the quarter behind their benchmark. Over the period, the underweight exposure to global equities, the allocation to Chinese stocks and the positioning on US bonds were the main detractors. On the positive side, the slight underweight allocation and the outperformance of Thai equity funds were the key contributors. On fixed income, within Thailand, the large exposure to money market funds contributed to the relative performance. Looking forward, we expect a slow slowdown with divergences and some areas of vulnerabilities to closely monitor, such as banking stress and the tighter lending conditions. We identify three key global themes. First, central banks facing the growth, inflation and stability trilemma. We expect a mild recession in the US and below par growth in Europe, and we identify risks coming from the tightening of financial conditions. While we approach the end of the hacking cycle, central bank's policy ambiguity remains high and could exacerbate downside risk. Secondly, from West to East, rising importance of Asia. Looking forward, growth differential between developed and emerging countries is set to further diverge. In particular, Asia will take the lion's share of growth as the region should contribute to 70% of 2023 global growth. Lastly, geopolitics in focus. Geopolitical tensions related to US-China relations and the Russia-Ukraine war could increase market volatility. And the risk of a US recession interfering with the start of electoral campaign is also a theme to watch out. Overall, Growth direction remains on the worsening side in the coming months. And on financial markets, we are concerned about earnings dynamics and stay skeptical on risky asset valuations. Against this backdrop, we keep a cautious equity exposure. We are particularly defensive on developed markets. In the US, expensive valuations are inconsistent with recession fears. On the opposite, we remain constructive on China, where we believe there is room for appreciations even if volatility will be high. Finally, we are close to neutrality on Thailand, where political uncertainty may continue to wait. Overall, we confirm our bias towards quality companies which can withhold economic slowdown. On fixed income, we keep a balanced positioning between global and local bonds with a marginal tilt for global. We are neutral on global duration and favor US exposure, considering the likelihood of Fed rate cuts in 2024. On global credit, we remain moderately positioned at its vulnerable to a negative economic backdrop. We also introduce a diversification on emerging markets local debt, which offers attractive yields and will be supported by a weaker USD looking forward. Finally, in Thai bonds, we are close to neutral on duration. Interest threats should stabilize on the back of lower inflation figures and the end of BOT hiking cycle. Given our cautious outlook, 
we kept our defensive positioning along the second quarter, but we continued to manage TSP portfolios actively. Within US equities, we decided to increase further the focus on quality stocks. As a result, we reallocated Neuberger Bernman US large cap value holding towards the core fund FCH JP Morgan US equity focus. This core fund combines the highest conviction of two experienced portfolio managers, one investing only on value stocks and the other one investing on growth stocks. Both are aiming at selecting high quality companies. We initiated some adjustment within Thai equities. We sold the passive ETF X-Tracker MSCI Thailand and we reinvested on the core active fund Kestar, one of our highest conviction within Thai equity space. Within Thai fixed income pocket, we reduced K cash management exposure and reinvested on Thai bond through K fixed income and Kong Sri active fixed income. We expect Thai bonds to perform better in the coming months on the back of a mild Thai recovery, lower inflation data, and a pause in BOT hiking cycle. On global fixed income allocation, global credit stays vulnerable to an unfavorable economic backdrop and tighter lending conditions. While government bonds should instead display safe haven features. As a result, in April, we decided to trim the aggregate fund PIMCO Global Bond to reinvest on pure sovereign bonds via iShares Global Government Bonds ETF. Finally, in June, we expanded portfolio diversification with an investment on JP Morgan Emerging Market Local Currency Debt. Such asset class offers a high carry and allow to play the appreciation of emerging currencies. With the Fed ending its hiking cycle, the last support to USD is now vanishing. At the same time, EM currencies are well posed to appreciate, supported by robust EM economic growth and under control inflation. We finance this purchase by trimming PICTA USD government bonds. To conclude, we confirm our defensive and well diversified allocation in TSP portfolios. Nevertheless, we aim to keep an active management to seize investment opportunities across the globe. Please always keep in mind the mid to long term horizon of an investment on financial markets. TSP funds allow you to diversify your savings and gain access to the best experts. These are key drivers for long term performance. We thank you for your support and attention and we will meet you again for the next quarterly video of TSP Portfolios. Thank you. TMB และธนาชาติเปลี่ยนเป็น TTB เปลี่ยนเพื่อให้ชีวิตคุณดีขึ้น